Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Evans Garage. Today's project, I'm going to be working on my 1986 Bigfoot truck camper. It's a 1986 Bigfoot C8 and I'm going to be replacing the belly band. So what I mean by that is I'm going to replace the vinyl insert that goes around uh, the center of the two-piece fiberglass uh, camper shell. So there's a bottom, the bottom shell and the top shell and the center is uh, screwed together. The top overlaps the bottom and then there's screws that go around the whole center piece um, that's on an aluminum uh, channel and then covering up the screws is this vinyl uh, really just decorative insert and uh, from the factory in 1986 they didn't use stainless screws unfortunately so um, I'm gonna see if I can remove all the old screws and from my research they're number eight screws. I'm gonna uh, I bought number, a pack of number 8 screws and number 10 screws. Um, I'm going to try and bump up the size to number 10 um, for all the screws. Replace all the screws with brand new stainless screws to resist uh, corrosion. And once I've done that, um, I'm going to replace the seal here. And maybe while the, this is off and the screws are out, I'll clean up that aluminum trim that goes around. I just wanted to note too, through my research, uh, there's a couple different kinds of vinyl insert that you can get. Apparently this is the good stuff here. This is JR products versus the Camco because uh, this is much more flexible, uh, malleable, easy to work with compared to the Camco. I guess is quite stiff and kind of more plasticky. Um, fades uh, a little bit more, less UV resistant and uh, you know this stuff I guess seems to work better. Apparently this stuff does shrink a bit though so I'll have to keep that in mind when we um, replace the insert trim just to maybe make sure it's nice and tight. A couple other things to note here. Um, the fiberglass shell, like I said, overlaps the bottom shell and then is screwed through both, pe both pieces of fiberglass into a, a small piece of wood behind both pieces of fiberglass from the inside of the camper. Um, I'll show you a photo of that because my brother-in-law is restoring his camper and he's got the whole thing gutted so you can see it from the inside of what it actually looks like and you can see a lot of those screws are corroded from the inside so the aluminum um, trim that's underneath the vinyl insert is apparently held onto both pieces of onto the top layer of fiberglass with a butyl tape so what you can do is you can remove the aluminum uh, replace the butyl but in this case i think that's a little bit more work than it's worth uh, the butyls uh, usually usually last uh, holds up pretty well over time um, so I think it'd be more work than it's worth to take off the aluminum trim risk damaging the aluminum trim and replace it uh, you know costing a few hundred more dollars just to replace all the aluminum trim and have to bend it around all the corners uh, without you know ruining the new trim so I think I'm just going to take this off replace the screws uh, put new trim in or vinyl insert in and that should you know give the camper a good look I've decided to go with black what's on there right now is brown and there's a few different color options that you can get as well. Okay, I'm gonna start by removing a few of these screws along the existing trim. I don't know if this is the factory trim or if somebody replaced this at some point, but uh, there's screws that go along it. This whole trim seems to be pretty stiff compared to the new piece, so it might be a little bit difficult to get out of there. Um, but I'll go ahead, remove all those screws along the entire width, and then uh, try and pry out the existing trim with a screwdriver or something. All right, here's just a shot of the old stuff and the new stuff. It's uh, one inch wide. As you can see, this old stuff is very brittle. I think it's the original from what I could tell, because some of it was tucked up under the butyl uh, by the door. And here's the new stuff, you know, much more malleable, easy to work with. Now, I don't know if it's going to get hard over time, but time will tell. Okay, and here's an example of putting the new stuff in. So I've got my grooves and the hump just like this. And up the top, I'm going over a screw, get one side started, and there we go. Now it's fully seated, slide it back and forth a bit. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to take a small brush and brush out all the debris 
in between the screws. I'll go around the whole camper and do that. And then I'm gonna go one by one and replace each screw with stainless. I took a couple screws out here. They look to be number 10, um, or they might just be number eight, rusted out to be the size of number 10, but they're one inch long. They don't quite fit the number eight, but they do fit the number 10 uh, with a little bit of room. So I'm assuming they were number eight just rusted out to number 10. So I'm gonna bump these up to number 10, Robertson head, one inch long. All right, so I've gone around uh, most of the camper here now and replaced all the screws with stainless, um, or at least, you know, as many as I could. Uh, I really ran into some issues getting some of these screws out. Problem being, you know, I can't get vice grips on the heads uh, to take these out completely because there's a lip here. So if I grab onto it and start turning, I'm gonna start destroying the lip. So I think I'm gonna have to cut my losses in some spots and uh, not replace the screws with stainless. So I got most of them down here, just not at the top. I didn't get pretty much anything at the front. I got most of them on the back and the other side. All those ones. Out of my box of 100 screws, they're pretty much used all but I'd say about 10. So you know, I pretty much ran out anyways. Um, but, you know, I think what I'd do is if I ever fully restore this camper and take the clamshells apart, um, or at least the interior out, I can get the screws from the inside uh, with vice grips. Or just grind the heads off. But at this point, I'm not, I'm not going to waste any more time trying to get these out because it's really, really starting to get annoying in some spots. Stuff like this. Yeah, stuff like that where it's completely rounded out. Okay, so I've got the uh, new vinyl insert all applied. There really isn't much to putting that stuff on. You just uh, put it in one groove and then use your finger to kind of slide it into the other groove and then just work your way around. What I tried to do was overlap. Um, some of the seams here so that way if water hits it it doesn't go into the groove and then same with up here this one's overlapping this piece and then this just runs around does the same thing on the other side <laughs> 